Hello, this is Andrew Munson, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we are going to be going over how to import and export files using Survey Pro. We will also go over the file formats that are supported by Survey Pro. The equipment used in today's Tech Talk is a Ranger 3 data collector running Survey Pro and a USB flash drive. These are the file formats supported by Survey Pro for importing. Survey Pro will import all known elements from the chosen file and add them to the current job. This can include points, polylines, and alignments. These are the file formats supported by Survey Pro for exporting. For survey files, job files, text files, coordinate files, and DXF files, you can select which portion of the job you want to export. For job XML files, land XML files, and Survey Pro 4 files, the entire job will be exported. We will start at the Survey Pro main screen. Click on File, then Import. By clicking beside the file type, you will see a drop down menu of the different file types. Select which type of file you will be importing, then click Import. This will bring you to your File Explorer. For this demonstration, we will be taking a file off of a USB flash drive. To do this, click the folder button in the top left of the screen. Then scroll over and select Hard Disk. Here we will select our file. We are then given the option of which layer to import the points to. We will leave ours on the points layer. Tap the green check in the top right of the screen. From this screen, we will then be able to select some basic information about the import file. Once you have chosen how you want it imported, click Next. The next screen, you will specify the file format. This is info you will have to know beforehand. You can adjust the columns if your file is in a different format. Survey Pro will check for the number of columns in the file automatically, but won't know which column contains which information. When you are ready, click Finish. The file will then be imported and you will be able to see how many points were imported into the job. Tap the green X in the top right corner and your job is ready to go. To export, we will start at the main menu again. Click on File, then Export. The first screen will allow us to pick the file type we want to export and if you choose certain files, which points you want to export as well. We will export a comma separated value file. There are different ways you can select which points you will be exporting. Right away, you can see that you can select from a map or select a point range. By clicking the arrow beside them, you will see more options. We will select all points then click Next. Next you will select some basic options for your export. Survey Pro will fill in the fields that it already knows. Once you are done, click Next. You can then select the format you want your points exported to, then click Export. This will bring you to your File Explorer where you can select where you will want this file to be stored. It can be stored on the data collector or be sent directly to a USB flash drive, which is what we will be doing. Tap the folder icon in the top left of the screen, then scroll over and select hard disk. You can rename the file at the bottom of the screen. It will automatically be named the same as the job that it is being exported from. When you are finished, tap the green check in the top right of the screen. It will then export your file and you are done. And that concludes our tech talk on importing and exporting using Survey Pro.
We hope you found this video helpful and will join us again next time. Feel free to browse our collection of other helpful videos as well. Thank you.